Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Star Rate 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome, come on in. So today I have something very special to share with you. I got my first PR package. Yay! <laughs> it's like so excited. Uh, this company is called New Craft Day. So it's newcraftday.com. I'm going to leave a link down in my description for you guys. And what they sent me was this beautiful sun catcher. So it came in this box here. So I just did a little box and I did uh, write new craft day so I know where it came from. And uh, it says wash and wear drills, shiny diamond painting. So, but anyway, so this is a box that came in. And then you get your basic kit, so you get a pen. You get some wax and you just get uh, this kind of uh, tray to put your diamonds in. And then these are the diamonds that came with it. So really, really pretty. And I'll open this up to show you. And look at this, guys. Isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? I'm trying to see if I can make sure I have it the right way here. So it does have holes here. So here's a hole and here so it would be hung up like this if you were to hang it up but yeah so it's just a gorgeous dragonfly and that's where you would do your diamond art on is a front and then this is the back so it has this so you it does have a, a plastic coating on both sides so you need to take it off once you're finished um, but this side does have the plastic coating also to make sure that uh, this area is sticky so of course, I'm probably not going to be able to get this plastic coating off to like, oh, here we go. Oops. So it's nice and sticky. I don't know if you can hear that, but let's see if I can do it this way. See, my finger sticks to it. And that's what you want. You want to make sure that your finger sticks to the glue. Then, I, then you know that your diamonds will stick to it. So anyway, so that's what they sent me. This here was... I think it was 1172, but we're, we'll get to that. Let's open the diamonds. <laughs> so yeah, so this is what what comes, and absolutely gorgeous colors. And this one looks like it has 15 different colors in it. And this is what you call a train, because your diamonds do all come like this on this really really long train that you're gonna have to cut open. If you're new to diamond painting, you'll have to cut open this and put them probably in containers. But I suggest just getting a little container like this. This is all you need for a small project like this. These are quite cheap, and so don't go out there and spending a lot of money. Now I do know that New Day, New Craft Day does sell accessories, so make sure you go check that out, and maybe they have a good deal on uh, theirs as well. And like I said, New Craft Day is a friendly budget company, so you won't be spending a lot. So here is the, uh, look at those, really, really pretty colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I look forward to doing this one. So yeah, really, really nice. So those are the colors for the dragonfly and the flowers. And like I said, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is what you're going to look see when you open their website. Uh, right now they have uh, a special on, I believe. Uh, if you buy $45 or more, you can save 8% off, it says. Um, they also have orders $59 and over is for free shipping. So if you order $59 or more, so basically $60, you'll get free shipping. Um, let's see. I thought I saw something here that you get 20% off, but I'm not sure where I saw that. Oh, so if, so if you're not signed up on email with them, it says enter your email to get 8% off. So it says sign up for a discount and then enter your email. So here's just some of the pictures here uh, that they have. So these are their diamond paintings. So yeah, really, really cute. Let's see if I can scroll up a little bit more. Oh, this girl's really, really cute. They have some really, really nice diamond paintings. So 
Yeah, really nice. Uh, their prices for some of these, like for this one here, this one is a uh, 110 by 50 centimeters, so it's pretty large. It's $21.86, but isn't that gorgeous? You know me and my Disney. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's a big one. That would take a while to do, I think. So... But yeah, so they have a whole bunch of different diamond paintings. They also have, let's see if I can get to, um, uh, they have uh, paint by number. They have uh, resin or wax uh, seals. Of course, they have diamond art. So anything from dream catchers to uh, Kleenex boxes. So if you're interested in making a Kleenex box, uh, it's the first time I've seen that. Um, the only Kleenex box that I remember is when my mom used to make them out of plastic canvas. So yeah, they got Kleenex boxes and they have just a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, they have accessories, so if you're looking for more containers or pens or uh, stuff like that, they have that. So they um, would have you all set there on their website. Uh, is their website seems to be very easy to uh, navigate around. Uh, so if you're interested, they do have their their company information. They have uh, cust customer care service. Uh, you can get in touch with them. You can follow them. And then they accept, uh, oh, it says we accept PayPal. Yay! That's usually what I use. So, yeah, so th they also accept PayPal. So I'm sure they just do the same thing, the credit cards, the PayPal. Um, I don't know if there's any of those karma or things that you can pay in for installments. That's just something that you'll have to check out. But, yeah, so the ones that, that they gave me are, let me just go back to my email here. And then let me click on it. Uh, these ones come in 13 different... Um, what do you call it? 13 different sun catches that you can purchase. And uh, the price was $11.72, which is a really, really good price. And let's see if I can bring this up here. Get rid of that. And here's here they are. Absolutely gorgeous. So you have the American uh, flag with the eagle at the bottom. Then you got your dragonflies. Then you got some butterflies there, and then you got a deer, you got a kitty cat, you got crosses, and you got bunnies. So, uh, this is like you choose one out of these ones, and so they chose for me uh, one of the dragonflies, which is um, absolutely gorgeous, like I said, and I look forward to working with uh, or working on it. And now it won't go back to what I want, of course. Let's see. Let me see if I can get to the beginning here. So they have new arrivals. They got cross stitching. Whoops. I want to read that. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so they have new arrivals. They got cross stitch. They have, of course, diamond paintings. They got a scrapbook series. They got um, epoxy molds. They have fire pen fire paint seal series they have a weaving series they got tattoo stickers Ooh, that would be fun and paint by number so yeah really really cool and uh, let's just look at some of their new arrivals oh absolutely gorgeous so here's a 40 by 60 for example I'm just gonna show that to you look at that horse or look at the lion too you can see the price here at the bottom so really good prices, but absolutely gorgeous horse. Of course, I love my sunflowers, and I love horses. <laughs> I used to have a horse growing up, and uh, so yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Look at this thing here. Just look at this. Okay, so absolutely gorgeous. Look at her. So she is going to go on my wish list. Do they have a wish list? Yes. So they do have a wish list, and she's going to go on there. And I got these here. Get out of my way, please. <laughs> it's 
so she is just the most adorable thing ever just look at her so she's sitting okay so yeah I need to order her isn't she just so precious oh I just love her okay enough looking because you know what's gonna happen I'm going down the uh, new craft day rabbit hole <laughs> but anyway thank you so much new craft day for uh, picking me to do a PR for you I so appreciate it um, and I feel so blessed that you did choose me to uh, review a product for you and well like I said what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kit, a, kit it up as we call it uh, in diamond painting world and I'll put it in here and then maybe what I'll do is I'll film a little bit of me working on it and then I'm going to show you the finished product project so it's going to be all in one video but for me of course it's going to be a little bit longer Ooh, look I got my ear uh, <laughs> Uh, earrings on today because it's just an ear kind of day but uh, yeah so thank you all for watching please stay tuned because yeah right after this it's just going to continue so I won't do an ending <laughs> so stay tuned is what I'm going to say so yeah stay tuned alrighty so I am back <laughs> um, I got everything ready here. I had took everything out of the box. I got my diamonds here. I got my container here. I've got the numbers here. And then I'm going to work on uh, with the same kind of pen. Uh, the wax and this little uh, bolt that they sent in the kit. So that's what I plan on doing. So we're going to kit up. I'm going to uh, just do a small whooping chat with you guys. Well, I'm kidding up, and uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So I'm just going to cut these here. And each of these has a number on it. So I usually just do the four at a time if I'm working in these small trays. Just so that you know I don't get confused or anything and then I'm gonna put these numbers on the containers so if you have never diamond painted this is how I do it anyway uh, doesn't mean that it's right or wrong everybody has their way of doing it and uh, this is just how I do it excuse my air conditioner um, it is still pretty warm here it's like seven o'clock at night and yeah the desert heat let me tell ya. So I'm just going to turn it this way. Um, it got pretty warm up, uh, probably in the 80s today, which was really nice. I sat outside for a bit this morning and enjoyed uh, the nice weather until it did get a little bit breezy this afternoon, so I did have to uh, come inside and just got to. Uh, too many little dust uh, storms coming through and it's not like it, it was just like the, tw the twirling dust storms or whatever you want to call it um, but yeah so as you see the each of these packages has a number on it I don't know if you can see that but there's like the number two so I want to put it in the two spot and this just keeps track of your diamonds now you could keep them in here, but I mean, other, then you have them laying down and they could spill out and so forth. So, not the best idea. Uh, there is a bit of static in these. But not too bad, just a little bit. And if they get worse... Uh, my husband did go and get me some static guards so I can try um, Miss Tita's trick. The drills look nice and clean though, which is nice because sometimes they'll come dusty. And I don't know why they come dusty like that. But but they do. Just like my package today, if you watched my Timu haul, my goodness gracious. Uh, talk about a beat up bag and talk about it being through the duster. I don't know what happened with that uh, bag. But that was some crazy stuff right there. So 
So I started working on um, most of my diamond paintings, except for the Canadian one, whoops, for the celebration, but I did, oh, and I haven't started on the, the fairy because that was just chosen yesterday. So I'm going to, um, I do have her all sectioned off and ready to go though. So I just, a uh, matter of doing a corner of her. So I sec sec sectioned her off in 18. So I have 18 days to complete her. So that should, uh, I should have plenty of time to have her done by the end of the month. And then my other ones I have sectioned off, um, I believe it's uh, 14 days. So I'm planning on doing a section a day on my paintings. Oops, I forgot to put the numbers. So, just to uh, keep up with uh, the four canvases I'm going to be working on. Usually I'll work on one, then I'll grab another one and work on another. So this is kind of brand new for me. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I usually like to work on one canvas and get it done. And uh, maybe that's a little bit of my OCD. But uh, that's all right. We're going to do it this way and all's good. And it will work out just fine. <laughs> um, I'm really looking forward to the dresser that we ordered. It should be in this week. And I ordered a dresser from another company. And um, yeah, I'm going to be putting all my... Uh, is it seven, eight? I'm going to be putting all my drills in there. And uh, so forth. I think it's comes with uh, four small drawers and then it's going to have uh, four large drawers so that will be so so nice for organization because living in an RV and you're trying to organize doesn't always those words kind of just don't go together sometimes <laughs> and you end up with things all over the place and then I'm looking for something uh, like that little secret stash I had the other day and it's like, oh yeah, that's where I put it. I totally forgot that's where I put that stuff. And so, that happens. Because you're trying to uh, use every little single space you have. Uh, this trailer is nice though. It does have outside compartments. But I do not want to store my diamond paintings outside. Uh, just because of the heat. And I'm worried what it would do to the glue. I don't know. Um, but I don't want to try it or test it out or anything. So, oh dear, see, I already screwed up. So I'm going to just put this as number seven. And we're just going to rename this one. <laughs> put this as number seven and put this one as number six. So yeah, so... Like I said, I don't know what it would do to the adhesive that's on the diamond paintings. And I don't want to find out. Uh, because I want them all. There we go. Alright, I think we're okay. I think we saved that. There's some really, really pretty birds here too. Uh, I really enjoy sitting out in the mornings and watching the birds come. I have a couple feeders outside my place here. I have a nice little fenced yard for my puppy dogs. Um, some of you, probably most of you know, I do have two little uh, Maltese mixes, uh, Ollie and Pixie. And we got them when we were uh, still up in Canada. And they were just babies when we, when we picked them out. Or pick them up and uh, so so yeah we were looking I, I used to uh, adopt I right, sorry I'm not adopt I used to foster so um, I had a foster service going and uh, for this small organization outside of the town that I was living in at the time and it was called the dog's life and so i used to foster for them 
and uh, I had a lot of different puppies but they were all big puppies the small puppies seem to go so fast that um, you know you just don't get a chance to grab you know to even try to foster because there's just so many people wanting small dogs so the big dogs of course is just takes a lot longer to um, to adopt out unfortunately but I had some really beautiful black labs and they were uh, two girl dogs and then um, I had a really nice span it was kind of like a mixed Spaniard I'd say uh, an English Spaniard a uh, very hyper dog um, full of energy and I just didn't have time uh, with my job because I worked in social services and my hours were very um, sporadic so I mean there was times that I could you know be working you know 10 to 12 hour days and I just couldn't take care of him because he was just so um, hyper and then I got a little husky and I named her Akita and I ended up keeping her and I already had one dog a German Shepherd mix uh, his name is Bejik which means one in Ojibwe. Ojibwe is the language of the, the native language that's in that area that I was working in and so yeah so I had him I found him at a garage sale <laughs> they were giving away free puppies and so of course I grabbed him and uh, he lived till he was almost I think 15 years old and my uh, girl husky Akita she um, she was only nine when she passed away. No, she when she was born, she had a heart defect, and the doctor said that, or the vet said that they didn't think that she was going to last any longer than six years. Well, she outlived them, and she lived till nine years, and then she had a seizure one night, and that was it. Um, she died. Uh, she died while at home, and then my husband had a husky when I met him and so he brought the husky to uh, Canada and at that time I think his husky was about um, this one's 11 his husky was oh I'm not even sure how old his husky was but uh, anyway they all all my big dogs uh, died within the year of each other so it was all within a year we lost our family <laughs> I, I call it my family uh, of dogs, my little fur babies, or my big fur babies. So, uh, it was really hard, but uh, then I said to my husband, I said, oh, I said, I think the next one we should look is getting small dogs. So we looked around the internet, and we looked at the uh, different humane societies and stuff. Um, there was one humane society way out in Toronto, but that would have been like a very, very long way to drive. And yeah, so we weren't going to get one from there. And so all of a sudden, this first of all, Pixie, who is older than Ollie, she came up on uh, a search. And so we went and got her. And then Ollie uh, was a year later. I thought uh, Pixie needed a playmate. And they have been just best friends. Uh, they play very well together. They get along well together. And yeah, I'm so blessed that uh, they do that. So, and then of course my cats. Um, Blizzard is actually um, my husband's cat. Cat. Uh, he brought Blizzard and Freckles with him to Canada, and so yeah. Um, he is originally from California, and we met online. Um, and we met here in New Mexico and yeah hit it off really well and so he was working for the state of California and he was almost up for retirement there and so we said hey you know why don't you come and move to uh, Canada and so that's that story <laughs> so he moved to Canada um, and then, of course, Canada says, okay, yeah, that's fine. You can stay here up to six months. Uh, but either you need to uh, do the paperwork, which we did. 
and or get married. So we did the paperwork and my husband had to do something, had to sign some kind of papers for in the States. And so we went back and he went to go sign the papers and then crossing the border to come back, uh, they wouldn't let him back through because they said his paperwork wasn't done correctly, which I think it was. I think they were just being, you know, um, I think they were just being mean. <laughs> That's my feeling about it anyway. And, uh, so he settled in, uh, Pipestone, Minnesota, and he taught school there for a while as a sub substitute teacher for the year. So they kicked him out of Canada for a year. So we had a year to plan. Uh, I went, I, I was able to travel back and forth. And so that's what we did is I traveled back and forth and, uh, it was about an eight hour drive from where I lived. And so on long weekends or holidays or whatever, I would uh, go and travel and see him. So yeah, that's our kind of our love story there. Alrighty guys, I've been working on this this dragonfly sun catcher for most of the evening. Um, I am almost complete, as you can see. I was recording and um, my phone stopped recording. And then I don't know what happened to my video because, yeah, my phone died and I think it uh, took my video with it. So I was showing you how I kitted everything up. Uh, so, yeah, it's all gone. But anyway, so this is as far as I've gotten. Um... So I've just got the big uh, drills left here, so we'll finish that off. And uh, look how beautiful this uh, dragonfly is looking. Uh, but before I start on that, I just want to give you some facts about dragonflies. So this was written by um, Jenny Ellers. And she wrote a whole thing about the meaning of a butterfly. So, a butterfly, sorry, a dragonfly. <laughs> yes, the dragonfly. Uh, so, the dragonfly in almost every part of the world symbolizes change and change in the perspective of self-realization and the kind of change that has its source of mental and emotional maturity and the understanding of the deeper meaning of life. The traditional association of dragonflies with, with water also gives rise to this meaning to this amazing insect. The dragonfly scurrying flight across water represents an act of going beyond what's on the surface and looking into the deeper imp implications and aspects of life. The dragonfly's agile flight and its ability to move in all six directions exclude a sense of power and poise, something that comes only with age and maturity. The dragonfly can move at an amazing 45 miles an hour, hovering like a helicopter, fly backwards like a hummingbird, fly straight up, down, and on either side. What is mind-blowing is the fact that it can do this while flapping its wings a mere 30 times a minute, while mosquitoes and, and uh, houseflies need to flap their wings 600 to 100 to 1,000 times a minute, respectively. The awe-inspiring aspect is how the dragonfly accomplishes its objectives with utmost uh, simplicity, effectiveness, and well. If you look at proportions with 20 times as much power in each of its wing stroke when compared to other insects, the best part is that the dragonfly does it with elegance and grace that can be compared to a veteran ballet dancer. If this is not a brazen, lazy overkill in terms of display of raw power, what is? The dragonfly exhibits um, iridescence both on its wings as well as on its body. Iridescence is, the pro is a property of an object to show itself in different colors depending on the angle and polarization of light falling on it. This property, this propriety is seen and believed as the end of oneself created illusions and a clear vision into the 
realities of life. The magic properties of iridescence is also associated with the discovery of one's own ability by unmasking the real self and removing the doubts one casts on his or her own sense of identity. This again indirectly means self-discovery and removal of inhibitions. The dragonfly normally lives most of its life as a nymph or an, or an immature. It flies only for a fraction of its life and usually not more than a few minutes. Sorry, a few months. This adult dragonfly does it all in these few months and leaves nothing to be desired. The style of life symbolizes and, and, and amplifies the virtue of living in the moment and living life to the fullest. By living in the moment, you are aware of who you are, where you are, what you are doing, what you want, what you don't, and make informal choices on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. This ability lets you live your life without regrets, like a great dragonfly. The dragons, or sorry, the eyes of the dragonfly are one of the most amazing and awe-inspiring sights. Given almost 80% of the insect's brain power is dedicated to its sight and the fact that it can see in all 360 degrees around it, it symbolizes a uh, uninhibited vision of the mind and the ability to see beyond the limitations of the human self. It is also, in a manner of speaking, symbolizes a man or a woman's rising from miraturalism um, to be able to see beyond the mundane into the vast that is really our universe and our own minds. And this was written by Jenny Ellers. So I thought that was really, really interesting. I probably got some words wrong. Uh, some of these big words that I don't use very often. But <laughs> my mother would uh, probably uh, slap me for that because she, she was definitely proper English. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to say a little bit about the dragonfly and what an amazing creature that God has created. Um, a lot of uh, um, P or a lot of scientists actually study the butterfly, the butterfly, the dragonfly, and uh, they study their its uh, its flight patterns, and they use it in aviation, which I uh, found quite interesting. So with these, um, so I'm working now with the uh, bigger uh, drills there. If you can see that, so I'm going to use a tweezer for that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I thought that was really interesting. So I thought I would read that to you that I lost like all my my talking that I did earlier. Oh, so sad. My goodness. So yeah, so I'm almost done this. So what I'm going to do is we're going to finish this off. And then I'm going to take it outside tomorrow. And we're going to look at it in the sunlight. And just look at all the sparkles. And yeah, so a dragonfly, yes, is pretty amazing. Quite an amazing creature indeed. And it's also good uh, to eat those flies and mosquitoes. Uh, I do know that we used to have a lot of them where uh, I was living in uh, along Lake of the Woods. So I was right along the lake. And yes, there was a lot of dragonflies there. And I always thought they were just so pretty flying around and plus you know like I said they do eat the um, mosquitoes and uh, we had a lot of those uh, I don't know what they're called Sam not they're kind of like sand flies but uh, we'd have like they're fisher flies I guess and uh, they love the light and so at night uh, if you'd want to go shopping you'd have to fight your way into the store from the swarms of these uh, little bugs it was quite something I'd never seen a site like that before especially growing up in the prairies where uh, there was no <laughs> uh, well I shouldn't say that we did have a river it's called the Red River and uh, it's pretty famous because it floods quite a bit but yeah so yeah this is going to be very very pretty 
I am going to seal this after you because after because there were some spots that I noticed that were not as sticky. Um, so I'm not even sure if those diamonds are going to stay in place. It's almost like it didn't have any glue, but uh, yeah, so and I usually just go around and just press these down, the bigger ones. But on this one, they only give you one extra. Imagine that, one extra. Better not lose it. <laughs> Might need it. So other than that, this has been very easy to work with. It's uh, been very enjoyable and pleasant. So what is there? Only three tens? Yeah. So the only so these bigger ones here, they only give you three that you need. So there's no more in that. And these tweezers are nice and big to pick them up. Which is nice. I absolutely love these tweezers. These are my favorite tweezers that I've been using. Um I don't remember where I got these ones from. I probably Timu. But I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, very, very nice. They probably came in a kit, I'm thinking. These ones are flatter, but very, very pretty uh, yellow. Very, very pretty. And then there's two twelves, and there's two twelves here. So you could do it with your with your fingers too. Probably wouldn't matter how you do it, how you would do it. And then just I just kind of straighten it out. But for me, it's just easier to pick them up with these tweezers and just place them perfectly. So yeah, very very nice. And then number nine, we have a few number nines. And then I see, what, a number 13. And then I think we are done with this one. So again, it's just a nice little project to do in an evening when you're uh, sitting back and relaxing, um, watching TV, or watching YouTube like me. <laughs> but yeah. And hopefully this one is recording. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Oh well, I'm sure it happens uh, to the best of us, right? I'm not the only one out there that probably always recorded this nice long session and then your phone dies or something happens and you, you've lost your video. <laughs> that was a whoops. So yeah, oops, these ones are a little bit harder to get on. There we go. And look at that, look how beautiful that just sparkles. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, so now we know all about the dragonfly. And uh, I did not know that they only had a short lifespan and they spent most of their time in uh, nymph stage that was very interesting to uh, know uh, to read about but so yeah I did know about their wings and um, how aviation have been studying them for um, for many years and that's kind of how they uh, been studying on how to make the airplane and the helicopters uh, fly in certain directions. So yeah, so thank you for joining me, guys. Um, again, my apologies for the mix-up there with the uh, other video, but that's okay. We got to the end of this, and it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, New Craft Day, uh, for allowing me to show off your beautiful uh, diamond art that you have. Again, it's newcraftday.com. There is a link in my description. 
and uh, yeah so I'll be taking this outside in the morning and we will look at how beautiful this is uh, there is probably still a film on the back of this that I have to peel off but uh, I'm not exactly sure but yeah but it's just absolutely gorgeous there it is so from my home to yours I hope you have a beautiful uh, evening night uh, day whatever time it is for you there and uh, I will be doing something tomorrow probably another little Timu haul because I have one more bag and that's uh, yeah what we'll be doing tomorrow when I say that I missed one uh oh and so I look forward to that and I look forward to seeing you all uh, again tomorrow uh, and maybe by tomorrow we will have hit the 500 uh, mark. I'm so excited about that. So I think we're inching closer and closer uh, to that 500 mark. I have had some suggestions, which I thank you so much for leaving the comments and giving me suggestions on what I can do better. And um, I will for sure uh, take that into consideration. And yeah, so as I always say, God's richest blessings and I will see you later.